Hello everybody, Crit Crab here with another story, and this one is about the myth, the legend, the bound to show up in one of these videos eventually, the Karen. Before we get into this, I will warn you right now that there's a major plot twist near the end of the video that we have never seen before in the history of the channel, so just giving you a bit of heads up, be prepared. Roll post. As a female who has played Dungeons and Dragons since AD&D, I have always done my best to encourage other women I meet to sit down, try, and play the game with me. When I joined the US Navy and met up with a group of friends to pass the time in between performing our duties, D&D was a great outlet for us to step away from the harsh reality of military life and relax. In my group of friends, no one had played as long as I had, so I offered to be the dungeon master. I sat down to start writing out a campaign while my players began to roll up their characters when one of them, we'll call him Craig for obvious reasons you'll see later, pipes up and asks if his girlfriend, who we will call Karen, could join the party. I paused at this. Karen, who I knew very well, was a diehard Christian who believed that video games and things like D&D were the devil, and that people who played them were going straight to hell. Yet, on the flip side, since she joined the Navy, and despite being married with two children to another man who also retired from the Navy because he contracted cancer, was now cheating on him with Craig. Yeah, Karen was one of those kinds of people. However, Craig insisted that we try and get Karen to play. And after some talking to Karen herself, she wanted to at least do something new with Craig while he was with us because she was attached to him at the hip. I would later realize this was one of the worst things I could have ever done to the rest of my party. From the beginning, there were problems. Karen didn't seem to understand that once you made a roll on anything, you could not re-roll the dice if the roll was bad or you didn't roll the exact number that you wanted, and would try and beg and argue that she just did it wrong and to let her try again. When other players picked certain feats or skills that allowed them re-rolls, she thought I was trying to play favorites and would not stop arguing until I showed her in the rulebooks where it stated that the other players' character classes allowed them to do that. But hers, which she picked Cleric, obviously, was not allowed the option of a re-roll. Karen was also not interested in role-playing and more interested in arguing with Craig about everything he did in character and out of character. They would fight about everything from the moment they got into the door, while they sat at the table, and even up until they left. It could be over anything. He didn't text her enough during the day, he wasn't sitting right in his chair, why was his character flirting with the barmaid, the latest political topic, Craig let her son play his video games when she was on duty, literally anything and everything. I would constantly have to tell them to stop, that they were ruining the immersion and just being rude. Yet, Karen would simply pull out her cell phone and angrily start texting Craig, and he would just text her back and then they wouldn't be paying attention to anything. We had to also ban drinking during D&D sessions, because if either Karen or Craig were drunk, their behavior only got worse. They would either turn into horny freaks at the table, wanting to hurry the game along, or try to sneak off to my bathroom and not come out. Or they would go out to my balcony and fight for half the session. It was disgusting and extremely awkward. At times when we realized this behavior originally manifested, and they both had the audacity to complain when I forbid drinking during game nights, I told them they were lucky I didn't barricade the bathroom and tell them they had to walk to the 7-Eleven down the street. The final straw was when Karen and Craig had a breakup, and to make Craig jealous, Karen decided to stay with the D&D group while Craig went TAD to a nearby duty station, and then Karen threatened to kill off another player. Karen played a good-aligned cleric, the character she wanted to kill was a good line sorcerer who was owned by a married gentleman, whose wife didn't play but sat in on sessions with us when she could. She even brought their baby along and his son was the cutest thing. I happened to be dating another player at the time who played a dragonborn fighter. I treat all my players equally, did my best to ensure they all got a chance at the spotlight, good gear, hell, I even started them off with a bag of holding because it just made things simple. So when Karen told me she wanted the sorcerer dead, I was shocked. Karen is one of those girls who has to lash out when she's hurting, and she was jealous of the sorcerer and how much I liked his character. 
I asked her if her character hated him, and she said no. I asked her if there is any reason her character would want to kill him, and she said no. She just, out of character, wanted him dead. I then reminded Karen that because of her alignment, if she did kill him, she would lose everything. Her spells, her abilities, her deity would shun her, the party would turn against her. It would be all over. Karen told me that she didn't care and that she just didn't like him and that she was going to kill him. Despite any and all attempts to dissuade her, Karen was determined. Next game session, she was going to kill our sorcerer. We are now at the game show section of the story, where you at home can guess what the DM is going to do next. Will they A. Boot Karen from the party B. Tell Karen that she can't do that, but keep playing or C. Do literally nothing about it. I'll give you a moment. Remember when I said there was a plot twist? Well, here it is. If you guessed A, then you are correct. So, in a move much like Thanos, I snapped my fingers and told her she was not allowed to come back for another game night, and she flipped out on me. Karen began screaming at me that she hated me, and she hated Craig, and she hated that stupid godforsaken devil's game, but I told her she had one thing right. Dungeons and Dragons was a game, and in it, I'm God. Then I walked out. I then made a phone call to Craig and told him that I banished Karen from the game and that I didn't want him coming back either, because I knew he was going to get back with her the first chance he got. Craig couldn't resist a desperate rebound from Karen. Sure enough, one year later, Craig and Karen were married. Two years later, Karen divorced Craig and married his live-in Ukrainian roommate Pietrov, and I've been happily d and ever since. The end. End post. Well, I guess that's what happens when Craig and Karen have a crossover episode. It was a little underwhelming, I'm not gonna lie, but I think that's only so because the DM was smart enough to know when to put their foot down. And to me, it's really refreshing to hear about. Anyways, if you enjoyed this story, please do leave a like and subscribe for more stories just like this one. Till next time.